Hello everyone and welcome to Lockdown Learner. Today we are having Akshita Singh who is currently pursuing B Optometry. So Akshita, introduce yourself. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Akshita Singh and yes, I'm currently pursuing my Bachelor's in uh, Optometry from Chitkari University and I still have my one year to go down with. And this one year, it will be like my internship. I'll be working in a hospital. So yeah, I'm quite excited about that. Okay. So what are your views on B Optometry? Okay, so my views on Bioptometry is like, you know, it's a good course and it's pro it provides you sufficient knowledge to work in this field. I mean, including both practical and theory knowledge, I mean, it's good to go and you, you know, uh, the knowledge is like, it can nourish your skills and you know, before going out to any hospital or for any competition in this field, it's like good, you know, it's like, yeah, it's full of knowledge. Really. Okay, so where are you going to be in internship? Okay, so, uh, before uh, before COVID, it was like we had one year of internship, and it was like three three months in uh, four different centers all around the India. Like centers were like in Gujarat, in Bangalore, uh, at Jaipur, and at Ludhiana. There were like four centers, but due to COVID, we were like not supposed to travel. So every student like there were, we were sent to different centers, and now we have to stay one year at the same center only. There's no rotation. So yeah, so I'll be going to Gujarat. Yeah. So, what would you do if a patient disagreed with your assessment of their vision? Okay, I mean, that's a good question. Uh, first of all, I'll try to do my assessment as good as I can because, you know, in the worst condition only, uh, I'll be doing the assessment again because it's a long procedure. Mm -hmm. So, I'll, you know, uh, ask him and try to figure out what the complaint is. I mean, what the patient is, uh, you know, not comfortable with or something if I'm giving him a prescription if, if it's that not comfortable or one I'll just go through uh, questioning I'll be like questioning asking him if anything is wrong and in the worst case as I told you I'll have to go for a second assessment that's it okay so on a day when you do not have a uh, lots of patient schedule so what would you do to occupy your time okay so like you know this this things happen very rare if there's no patient or you're sitting free Probably if we're sitting idle, I mean, we like just rest, you know, because yeah, we're always like checking patients. But yeah, uh, we'll try to you know, have some good conversation, some healthy conversation between the colleagues and we'll try to boost our skills and have some healthy discussions about the problems that we suffer during, you know, practice or if a patient comes up to us. You know, uh, we'll always talk about something that is rich in knowledge. I mean, that's the least we can do when, when we have a free time. Okay, so nice answer, Akshita. So how will you deal with staff member who is not providing you with enough support at an optometry clinic? Okay, I mean, okay, that's a tough one. Uh, this question, I mean, you know, this thing, this happens very rare because when you're working in a medical profession, there is an ethical code of conduct that we have to follow. I mean, you know, in a hospital when you're working with patients around and there's some serious situations going around, you cannot, you know, let things go. And there's always have to be, you know, some decorum that we have to maintain and always we have to do some ethical practice. And if this happens, you know, we have to support one another and we have to show some empathy towards the problem. And yeah, we'll try to solve it up and we cannot hang on that. Okay. Nice answer again. So, any advice for the student who will want to do be optimistic, like what, ex what exams they should prepare and like any good okay i mean uh, to be honest when i came into this field i mean i was very unaware and i was i was very uncertain about this but yes now that i've come to know people you know students they can prepare for like aims uh, they can also go for neat and also like specific colleges they have the entrance exams like you know srm and few more i cannot name the universities right now but yeah there are few more universities like in chitkara when i got the admission i got it on the basis of my percentage so yeah so there's different uh, scenarios for you know different criteria for every platform. So yeah, they'll have to go through that once. Okay. So one more question, like what inspire you to take a B optometry as it is different branch, like mostly a uh, student pursue like B tech and like MBBS and all law. So this is a totally different branch. So what inspires you? Okay, if I have to be honest, you know, uh, yeah, I had my med I have a, I had a medical background in my eleventh and twelfth. Yeah, I was uh, not thinking to go into medical or something. Uh, but then I was like, you know, after studying two years of medical, I mean, why not, you know, why not put your hand out on something that you already know? So yeah, I came uh, to know about this course to my cousin because he already did it and he did it from Chitkar University only. And now he's working well. I mean, he's 
working for a uh, he's applied for a government job and he's working as an ophthalmic officer and that's like wonderful so yeah i was like quite inspired from his achievement and i thought you know why not you know just do this so yeah i'm happy so yeah vision is the most important part of a life yeah exactly and you know uh, one more thing like uh, this covid thing going on and everyone has you know become dependent on digital screens yeah. digital media and digitalization has become you know one part of our lives because everything has gone online and everything is happening you know but we should really 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 take care of our eyes i mean we should really i mean you should go out in the sun like vitamin d is important we need to eat green vegetables play outdoor activities there there are some major exercises needed for our eyes you know people usually don't care i mean honestly they don't but yeah you have to take care of your eyes i mean when you talk about health full health i mean eyes are also a major part the sense of seeing comes from it so there is any exercise for uh, eyes which we can de- do like we do for arms and for like wrist yeah you know i have a very good uh, this is this is a 2020 20 rule i mean like this year is going 2020 but yeah it's a 2020 rule uh, like now is like we are also talking like on the through a digital screen we are talking yeah. and everyone is like probably using their phones like for hours like you know one or two hours continuously sit on the phone and you don't even look i mean you don't even take one look to you know look aside so 2020 is a rule it's been created so it's like after every 20 minutes while you're working on a digital screen it be it either it be a mobile or a laptop you have to look 20 feet away for 20 seconds okay it's like a 2020 rule after every 20 minutes you have to take a 20 second break and you have to look 20 feet at a distance of 20 feet and that's really important i mean and on one more important point is that you know you should never use your mobile phone than computer like continuously you should never just you a little break is important so what food we should eat for healthy i say okay so yeah that's a good question uh, you know we should consume more of uh, green vegetables vegetables which are green from inside as well you know uh, like there are certain vegetables which are green from the outside but yeah there are vegetables which are green from inside as well so that is very important every day i mean try to have green vegetables every day in your meal and also you can go for red vegetables and fruits which are red from in- inside as well i mean pomegranate beetroot lady finger these things you know they are like very essential and also vitamin d is very very essential for your eyes and outdoor activity you know a little exercise is required you know looking far looking near so yeah that helps you with accommodation and yeah akshita what is candle exercise like i have heard from many people that like, you should do a candle exercise to remove stress okay so candle exercise okay it's a good procedure i mean it's a good thing uh basically what you have to do is you have to turn out the lights you have to sit in a dark room and you have to hold a candle and the candle it should be burning So uh, you have to move the candle left to right and right to left. I mean, to the length of your arm, and you have to focus on the flame, and you have to move your eyeballs, you know, to rotate your eyes to candle to candle. I mean, it will help you. Uh, it will help your eye muscles work as well, and you know, help you in focusing. I mean, that's what I heard about it. I also don't really know much about it, but that's it. That's what you have to do actually in that exercise. Okay, like abhi, जैसे छोटे-छोटे बच्चों की online classes start हो गई है, and they are having like. watching the tablet or a phone like for 3 to 4 hours so yeah yeah what should they do like they will not get into specs and the eye say problems you know traj uh, this is a good question asking because nowadays if you see i mean from a kid um of one year to like you go to adult i mean 60 plus everyone is on phone everyone is using screens digital Screens and it is not a good thing to be honest for children. So I expect parents, uh, parents not giving them phone. I mean, okay, now online classes are going. Let them use it for that specific hour, not much, because it's not good. I don't think so. Kids should use phone anyway. I mean, they have so many things to do, so many activities to do. I mean, because so as we are I suggest not to use. Use least children. It's as much as you can do this. This so children are not ready to do those exercises. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But yeah, you can make them eat healthy, and yeah, help you know play them in the sun and play around with them. I mean, that's what yeah. you're supposed to do. So thank you, Akshita, <laughs> for being a part of Lockdown Learner. So you are having any review or question for us? 
thank you so much for you know inviting me up for this i mean it is good it is a good thing that you're doing you know taking reviews and knowing the things from the inside you know everything looks good on the outside but yeah you should always ask people what actually goes so yeah i've gone through your many videos and they're like all very helpful so yeah keep up the good work and you know keep doing this it, it's really helpful okay thank you everyone for watching this video